Welcome to another session of Reflections today. We have been dealing with hope. Um, we are looking at hope and the effect that hope has on our faith. Um, and we said that you must always seek out the word of hope. Um, and um, we looked at the story of uh, Anna and how Anna was in the depth of depression uh, weeping, crying, lost her appetite, um, had just given up on life until somebody just gave her one single word of hope. Eli, without even asking what she was going through, what her problem was, said to her, you just go your way because God has answered your prayers. Every time you get a word of hope, that strengthens your mind, that strengthens your resolve, it will defeat shame in your life. And that is what the devil so seriously battles against. He does not want you to hear the word of hope. And when you hear that word of hope, he tries as much as possible to take that word of hope away from you. Hope defeats shame. Romans 5 verse 5 says, Hope does not disappoint us. Hope does not put us to shame. Hope does not disappoint. Hope does not put you to shame. You know, the Lord Jesus said that he would hear our prayers, but that when God answers, would there be faith on earth? Every prayer is answered. There's no prayer we pray that goes unanswered. And I want to qualify every prayer. When I'm talking about prayer, I'm talking about every prayer we pray in accordance with the word of God. Because there are many prayers we pray that are not necessarily in accordance with the word. And that is why it is critical when you pray that you find a promise on which your prayer can stand. And after you found the promise on which your prayers can stand... You want to also ask God. You know, I also taught you a few weeks ago that you ask God questions. You ask him, Lord, what is it? How is it? Why? Who? When? So you first have to get an, an answer, a promise from the word of God to determine whether what you are asking God is the will of God. We know healing is the will of God. We know prosperity is the will of God. We know... Deliverance from oppression is the will of God. Those things are clear. We know living a righteous life is the will of God. So every time you want to pray, make sure you have a word on which you are standing. And as I said, every prayer prayed in accordance with God's will gets an answer. There's no prayer you pray to God that's goes on answered. Believe me. The issue is when the answer comes, will you still be there at your faith post? I'm not calling it your duty post now. Will you be there at your faith post, your faith station to receive the answer? Or would you have become discouraged? Will you have lost hope? Would you have sunk into the depths of despair? And allowed the devil to rob you of your blessing, of your answer, of your victory, of your deliverance, of your healing, of your provision. I said to us yesterday, I said, when you lose hope, a few things happen. Number one, when you lose hope, it affects your mental health and emotional health. Your mental and emotional health become compromised. When your mental and emotional health become compromised, you become physically compromised, physically sick. 
when there is sickness and disease, your pocket suffers because you can't work. You can't be effective at work. You can't be productive at work. And then when your pocket suffers and it's difficult for you to meet up your obligations, then the very depth of depression is hit. And when the door of depression is open, spiritual attack comes in. The demons from hell come into that person and become to ferociously attack. You cannot afford to lose hope. You cannot afford to lose hope. And this reflections is particularly about giving you hope. If I were you, I will go back. I will go on my YouTube channel. I will set reflections on the play, on the play, um, what do you, on the playlist. I will begin to play them one after the other, one after the other, because you know, I said to you, God said, give my people a word of hope. Every reflection session brings you a word of hope. Hope. Hope defeats shame. Hope defeats shame. Hope does not disappoint. Hope does not put to shame. Because when you hope, it keeps you standing. It keeps you believing. It keeps you expecting. And the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. That's what God says, and he does not lie. Make sure you get that word of hope in you. Hope defeats shame. The minute Anna had the word of hope that Eli gave her, when Eli said, just go, go in peace, your prayers have been answered. That single word of hope wiped away tears of shame from her eyes. She hadn't even seen the manifestation. The Bible says she went away rejoicing. She went away. She had a good meal. Her countenance changed immediately. Was she put to shame? No. Because what the word of God does is the word of God brings hope. And when hope comes... Hope keeps you going to the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. You are the one who wears out the devil when you have hope. You wake up in the morning and you say, I believe in you, Lord. My hope is in you. I have strength to live through today. I know you will not put me to shame. I know you will not disappoint me. Another day comes. After some time, like Jesus did to the devil when he came to tempt Jesus after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, the Bible says he left Jesus. He departed from him for a season. Because every time he came to Jesus, Jesus said, it is written. <laughs> it is written. It is written. Hope is written on your life this morning. In the name of Jesus, I bring you that word of hope. That word that will defeat shame in your life. That word that will defeat disappointment in your, in your life. I bring you that word of hope from God. Hope that makes not ashamed. Hold tight to the word of God. Sit down with the word of God. Open your ears to the word of God. Shut out every other thing. Let the word of God resonate in your spirit. And shame, <laughs> shame will be defeated. And disappointment will separate from you as God gives you an answer of peace. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Be victorious in Jesus' name. Be prosperous.
prosperous in Jesus' name. Be at peace in Jesus' name. Be a blessing in Jesus' name. Receive a city-shaking testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. It's for me, Bilano. Reflections. Remember, hit that share button. God bless you as you share.